Yo, what's going on everybody? We back with another one. Today's video is gonna be on the old Tundra again. Let me start this thing up the way I can show you guys what we're gonna be fixing today, which is something that I think should have been fixed. Should have never been an issue from the factory. But what do I know? I'm just a plumber. <clears throat> but let me show you guys. Let me shut the hood, because it is gonna involve the hood being up. So I had the hood up. Well, V6 is loud. Um, but yeah, I don't know if you guys can see it. Just try to guess what we're going to be changing today. If you guessed the running lights, the orange, we're getting rid of those things. Um, I did some research online and the bulb they told me would work is the same one as what you would use for like, a the Tahoe, like a 03 to 07 Chevy blinker bulb, running light bulb. Um, which is this here. This is how it originally looks. Um, you had to do a little modification to get it to work, as you can see here. I cut this one down, trimmed it so it would fit in the sleeve. Um, I'd put, I did that just so I could make sure that it would work, and it did work. Um, but that's not the bulbs you need. I looked on Amazon. Actually, I looked on, uh, I think it's Dynamic Duo on their, um, their search bar. And this is the, the part number that was on there so i'm gonna try these and see if these will work um because what was happening with the other one after i modified it the bulb itself was too big well, let me show you guys so i can give you a better idea on what i'm talking about <clears throat> set that pack right there they pop these bad boys open i know somebody was complaining about me pointing the camera at the ground yes i do that i apologize um not intentional just walking with a camera in your hand it's hard to point it elsewhere oh. so yeah there's the last fit bulb compared to the one i got today um so it's just it should fit in that sleeve a lot better and as you can see this is a lot smaller compared to let me find the one i think if i let me set them up here set them on the, the bed of the old obs still gotta find the motor for this thing well maybe the bulbs want to roll away on me here we go. Um, but yeah, it's it's a lot slimmer than the other one. So I'm hoping these work. Fingers crossed. Um, and let me tell you, it is a pain. Yeah, it should work. It is a pain to access these things as well. I don't know if anybody's actually tried to, to change them on these trucks. I did some research on YouTube just to search and see. Um, but I didn't come across any videos that were pertaining to changing the blinker bulb but let me just tell you guys like i took this off over here um took the the fender flaring i guess you'd call it took that off took this piece of bumper off took the wheel wear liner out and still could not get to these things oh, let me raise the hood so what i discovered the easiest way to do because these things fasten in there really easily because you know it's a brand new truck cut this thing off <clears throat> so what i did yesterday is i basically just took my connector off the um the airflow sensor take this clip loose took the box off took the filter out and just pulled the box itself out because they don't bolt down it just snaps into place um and that's going to be the same thing we do over here as you can see that beautiful wiring i did on the light bar look at that man looks looks professional psych i lied uh but yeah let me uh let me get one side out and the bulb in. That way I can give you guys just a comparison on how much better it's going to look. Because um, I don't know why. As much as we pay for these trucks, I feel like they could put a switch back for the the uh, the blinker. I mean, we're still going to have the amber here, which I can black this out. I'm not worried about that. I can get some tint and um, tint this here. I'm not worried about this one. Um, luckily, this is a bulb. Um, so I'm going to get this out real quick. And once I get everything put back together on this side, I'll start the truck back up and just give you guys like a comparison on what it looks like. Um, that way, if somebody in the comments wants to do this thing, they can. Um, feel like it's going to be very easy once you can get to the bulb. It's just getting to the bulb. That's the hard part. <laughs> but uh, yeah, once I get the bulb in there, I'll pick the video back up then. Alrighty, fellas. I just went ahead and did both of them. Um because it just looks so much better dude it's crazy what a light bulb will do to a vehicle by changing it but it is crazy um and these bulbs are really bright 
The only downside is it does have hyper flash, but I'm willing to sacrifice a hyper flash for a yellow freaking running light any day of the week. Um, I know some people that just kills them when they hear it dick, 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 on the inside. It don't bother me as much. I usually have my radio up loud, so I don't even hear it anyways. Uh, but let me quit rambling on and let me show you guys. There she is. Oh my God, that looks so much better. So much better, man. Look at that, man. That looks so much better, dude. Like, wow, why, why, why can't that be like a factory thing? Let me turn the hazards on the sifter. And the blinkers are really bright on this thing. Like the bulbs for a $19 bulb, these are actually like crazy bright. There's the Tahoe. It's got the Toyota fac factory rims on it now. Um, but here she is, man. Blinkers work fine on the hazards. Um, the only way you're going to get... I might not have hyper flash now. Let me check it. Because I had one bulb stock and one LED. Let me see if that changed something. No, I still got hyper flash. As you can see here. It's blinking kind of fast. Doesn't really bother me much. Um, I know some people, it just worries. Worries them to death. Doesn't bother me. You can get the load resistors or whatever they're called that you like hook into the lines. But with this truck, I'm telling you, unless you got really tiny hands, and in most cases, men's hands are not small. Um, it's going to be really hard to access this thing. Uh, but the way I did it, literally just take your air boxes out. You're really not even going to need a tool. You'll need a flathead to take um, two little clips off of the wiring going to the mass airflow sensor. Look at that thing now. Everything's white. Check it out, fellas. Oh, my God. That looks so good. I'm going to have to go get some videos of this thing real quick. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to leave a link in the description for the bulbs that I use just in case any of you guys want to pick them up. Um, and I'm also going to leave a link in the description for the resistors you can buy to put in the line that will prevent the hyper flash. Um, they're not expensive. They're like 20 bucks. Um, so when I get the video edited up, I'll drop a link in the description for those as well. I was going to pick them up, but I was like, nah, I'm not going to do that. But yeah, let me get y'all one more look at that beautiful truck. God told my that thing's nice, man. The amount of heads that it turns when it's uptown is just ridiculous. But uh, yeah, that's going to do it for this one. If you guys enjoyed, hit that like button, subscribe. Got some more stuff coming for this thing. The next mod we're going to be doing is kind of a big thing. Not going to... I'm not going to tell you guys exactly what it is, but it's definitely going to change the look of the truck as well. Um, but yeah, stay tuned, hit the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.